everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker, and I just want to show you real quick the compost bin that Ed has made from um, some pallets. It has just rained out here, and it's going to rain again in probably um, an hour or so, and it's been raining for the last two days again, so I actually came out to, you know, do some weeding and some harvesting. So you can see I've got some recycled container dirt in here. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, horsey poo and, you know, some table scraps and that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I haven't turned it yet, but I have added some blood meal to it to kind of uh, boost the nitrogen content and tone it up a bit. Um, we probably won't be using this anytime soon, and my hope is to get another one out here, uh, right beside it. So yeah, he, he pretty much um, added a couple pieces of wood, um, pallet wood in fact, to um, two pallets on the side. Now there is a solid bottom, but there are still plenty of holes for the air to get through. And eventually this wood's going to break down and maybe by the end, you know, we'd be on the second one. Because this is definitely not, you know, like a permanent bend. This wood will break down. So, got this monster out of his bucket today. After all those days of rain, you can see things have been busy. Not to mention, you know, these weeds have completely hated the heat and the rain. So I'm going to have to treat them because they're blighting out and yellowing. But luckily I've got some neem oil and some tea tree oil that I'm going to mix with some water and a little bit of detergent and we'll try to take care of that. Now I was going to start harvesting some of my catnip and you can see the flowering heads already. I can take those flowers and make some tea, but I'm not going to. It looks like something's been eating my little peas. I have a, just um, a bunch of uh, sugar snap peas that I put into the palette. I want it to see how well, you know, something like that would grow, legumes or whatever. And things seem to have been under attack while I was gone. <laughs> The cilantro is doing really good here and it's starting to flower a little bit but I can still use it. So I'm going to take a lot of this and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it dried, dehydrate it so that I can use it in the future. I do have some cilantro growing to take its place. Um, it's over there at the end. And that's what I, I've been trying to do as things mature. I've been trying to, you know, take more and and plant it so that I can get continuous use out of some of this food. Uh, this weather is just so confusing for the plant. I've got some peas in there, but two days after weeding it, I mean, I weeded this garden the other day. And just all this rain, all these weeds have popped up in between all the, it's crazy. And I probably should have gone ahead and mulched this. And it's not too late to do so because you can't even see my greens right now. They're greens and they're mixed in, they're sighing weed. And the peas are in the middle. And that's all you can see is the peas because all the weeds have come up. But we are going to just eat the weeds in this area. They can have the rest of the yard. They can't have this. You know what I mean? I wanted to show you these cabbages. Um, they have definitely um, popped. <laughs> There's a snail plug. See them? You see them? He's not my friend at all. Messing with the wrong one. Anyway, as I was saying, you can see that things 
um, have been chomp chomping on my vegetables. There's more slugs in there. Epsom salt will take care of those. hurt the plant. It's so humid there's no way I can set out beer traps like a lot of people can get rid of slugs that way. There's too much moisture in there. They don't care about the beer. They don't care about that. Now some of you might remember that um, when we went to the prior Oklahoma first annual YouTube uh, family reunion, um, the Robertson's belly acres gave me a bag of dirt. If you're wondering what I did with it, I decided I was going to put it in a bucket and I was going to plant yellow bell peppers in that bucket of belly acre dirt. So these will be forever known as the belly acre yellow bells. It's the belly acre bucket. I'm going to make sure that I title it as such also. Thanks again, Billy Acres. I expect to be eating lots and lots and lots of Billy Acre bears.